You ready to shoot your first goose today? Yeah, I guarantee I shoot more than you. I suck. So you guys probably can't see anything. We just made it to the field. We're going goose hunting. We got. I got to quit talking. That we got to hurry up and set up all the decoys because it's getting. It's actually getting pretty like bright in a really really big hurry. So we're gonna set up some decoys. Probably pick up the camera when we're done. Brush action this morning, dude. Goose hunting is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Are you guys up for this? This is crazy. Yeah. We're, we're currently blinding the blinds, we're I guess you could call. Blowing. Trying to blind the blinds. Collecting the hay. I had no idea it'd be like this much intensive labor. Well, guys, it is game time. Question. We you ready for this? My question to Peric. Yeah. Are you just gonna run that assignment like for hours? Yeah. Is it running right now? No, can you turn it on for me? It's gonna last about four minutes out <laughs> in the cold. So, cold, yeah. so we are, uh, we got everything set up. Pretty much everything situated. We got all the blinds, that's that's El Perique in there. I got some GoPros, we got some GoPros out in the decoys. Spread's looking pretty sick. We had a trailer folder outlaw is parking the truck now. Rolling. And uh, so the geese should be- Stop it from rolling until they call. <clears throat> so, it's pretty much game time. the house right there. Should be fun. I've never hunted geese in Colorado. I've hunted geese in Kansas, Iowa, Nebraska. Checking the Colorado off off the list. I'm excited. I love goose hunting. This is this is something I really enjoy doing. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. You ready, boy? I'm ready. I'm pretty excited. That was quick. So you guys didn't see it, but but we had a flock of geese come over as we're trying to get situated. Yeah, those are low too. So there's geese everywhere. We're gonna. It's gonna be a slaughter fest. Key to goose hunting success. Right there. Take notes, folks. Take notes. <laughs> oh, we got him up, too. Oh, it's on, boys. Let's go. Uh, why are the geese getting scared? Right <laughs> big I think the big nose is doing it. That's kind of what I was thinking. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna say it, but since you said it, what? we'll let you take the blame. There we go, first goose, baby. We're a bunch of baby killers. Woo! Woo! Next shot. There we go boys so we got two more no bands though jokester over here maybe what's convincing me that i potentially Sorry, shot my first band had to do I it i told her to do it too i was like oh man you gotta like, get go flair with the band trick I no like, i never shot a band i shot a ton of geese no bands though no no bands but i i mean i'm sure i hit at least one of the i don't know if i killed them hit them shot at them you guys saw the footage one two we got third one and then lake fork i and Perrick. Are way down. Oh, Look at he's there. He's still alive. He's swinging him around. Keep going. Hey, hit him hard. Keep there going. you go. Break.
right out front, right out front. Let's get them, boys. Let's get them. I didn't shoot, but you got that one. Nice, boys. My shot. You having fun yet, Perk? <laughs> I feel like he, that's supposed to be out there right now. Let's go, boy! Yeah! Oh, that was good shooting. See, now, now we're aiming straight. There we go. We just got two more. We all we just dropped those guys. They didn't stand a chance. I shot once. Oh man. They oh dude. Doing it. <laughs> Ride or die, boys. Good shooting, guys. That was great Good shooting. shooting, fellas. So we got what? Six now. We got six on the ground. Six on the ground, boys. Oh, and they just keep on coming. It was gonna be a bust, and it turned out. You know, they started. They blew late. Really cold this morning. They started doing it. terrible we just got three more two of them went down like the hill one of them dropped hopefully we'll be able to find those in a little bit but right now right now we got seven that's that's pretty dang good i shot this geese and we were all running Whoa. around over and i go to pick it up and i and i do it like that and it just goes <laughs> and i go oh shit guys look at my new goose call <laughs> 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 So it's about one one o'clock or so. We're picking up picking up all the decoys. We had a good hunt. We saw a lot of birds. Did a lot of shooting, not a ton of killing, but we still did we still did pretty decent. As Lake Fork I said earlier, spray and pray was our tactic today, and it worked somewhat. Could definitely could have done better, but it's it's the first time goose hunting for Peric and Rob. Cut them some slack for me. I'm blaming it on my two and three quarter and shell, but mainly just because I suck at shooting. Do you like goose hunting? Did you yeah. have fun? Hey, what was that? <laughs> it's cold. Rob's, Rob's cold. Rob's really, Rob's really, really cold. So yeah, we're gonna pick up these decoys and then we gotta clean the geese and I might show you how guys how to do that. Right there, seven, seven goosers, as Peric would call them. That's that's what we came came home with. I'm gonna give a, as quickly as possible a how to clean a Canadian goose or a lesser, basically ducks. Any, it's all the same thing. I've done. I did one of these like way way back. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. It's from like 2013. It's a really awful video, but if you want to look at it, you can. Otherwise, I'm gonna briefly go over how to how to clean these, how to take the meat out. So if you don't like blood and guts, you probably want to click out like right now. But if you do enjoy that type of stuff, then uh, stay tuned. All right, fam, so we are going to clean a goose. As you can see, that is in fact a goose. We are gonna take the breast out of them. That is the majority of the meat. I know there's some legs and Rob was talking about making pillows. You could do a lot with these. <laughs> For today's purposes, since I want to keep the video short, I'm just gonna show how to take the breast out. So, so what you do is, this is how I do it. I'm going to say what you do. You can do it a lot of different ways. Okay. You stick your finger and you find their little, I don't know, esophagus. There's a little hole there. And you stick your knife right next to your finger without cutting it is the, the key. So you just kind of try to make yourself a little bit of a, a hole there. So once you have a hole, it kind of looks, looks a little something like this. And then you just, all you have to do is you just stick your fingers under the skin and you pull just like this. These ones are a little tough, like they're late season, so um, Outlaw was saying they've got a lot of fat on them and 
So they're a little bit tougher, but you just kind of have to manhandle them, stick your fingers under there, and you pull like that. Just like that. And you just go all the way down, all the way down the sides, all the way down the back. So then you're left. Something looks a little bit like this. You guys can kind of see that. You just want to make sure you kind of pull all the, all the skin down. The more skin you pull down, the better. Then once you got these nice breasts exposed, mm. you, fi yeah, uh -huh. you find your knife. And then you see this little white line here. You got a little, I don't know what it is, but plate. chest plate. Then you just kind of take your knife. And you just want to cut alongside of it on each side. Just like this. Once you got the two little little cuts there, you kind of use your fingers. The tricky part is cu is cutting around the little, the top part. Just kind of flay, flay your way. Just use your fingers and pull, and then take the knife. Just go all the way down, trying to get as much meat as possible. Sometimes it's difficult to get all the meat. You have to just basically take your knife and just follow follow around the rib cage all the way until you get to the other side, which is, uh, is basically the, the other side of the bird. Take the breast and just kind of slice your way, slice all the fat off. Like this, you just take your knife and you just cut all this stuff. Just like that. And that's essentially what you have. You want to kind of cut all this fat off and you want to rinse it off before you marinate it or slice it up into jerky. That's, that's how you do one half. Then you just gotta do the exact same thing to the other half, so I'm not gonna show the other half. But essentially, that is how you clean a Canadian goose or the same thing with ducks. I don't know about anything else, really. But that's how you do that. I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed the goose hunting, leave a thumbs up. Check out all the dudes that I was hunting with down below. That's it. We are, uh, yeah, we're going hunting tomorrow. So there's going to be some more hunting videos. But I'm going to finish cleaning up these, the rest of the geese. Peace. How was that, Perk? That was good. Is that good stuff?